Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marlene and I am an artist by night. I create and make art on my spare time when I'm not working. And I thought today we could paint a little nightscape together. I've never actually done a tutorial before, so this is my first time attempting something like this. Um, so I will try my best to be as detailed as I can throughout every step but if I miss something and you're confused feel free to ask questions in the comment section. Here I'm using a palette knife just to scoop out the colors that I will need. So it looks like this one is the Persian blue. It's the really dark one and I also scooped out like this pink color and I typically try to use a palette knife just to keep my paints clean because if you're working straight from the jelly cups and you're not washing your brushes in between each color then you're prone to getting them all dirty and contaminated so either I use a palette knife or just a clean brush to scoop out the paints that I need and I use my paint palette on the side. So for the cityscape, I want the night sky gradient to go from dark to light and the light part being like a pinkish color. I want the middle to be kind of purple and then the top will be like a dark blue. So I laid down the pink. Um, I then scooped out the pale purple and I'm working on bringing it down so that it blends in with the pink. I add a bit of water to the gouache only because they're a bit too thick in the cups for my liking. Up to you guys on how you guys like to use it, but um, I prefer it to be a bit more creamy. It's a little too chunky in the cups. So I also try not to add too much water because I don't want them to look like watercolors either. Then I scooped out the light blue color and now I'm using that to blend it in with the purple that I had put down already. If you're having a little trouble getting a smooth blend to the gradient, it might just be because you need to add a little water to it. If the paints are drying out, um, you'll have a harder time blending them together. Now I'm just adding the Persian blue up at the top and I will be bringing it down and blending it with the lighter blue. I didn't want the Persian blue to take up most of the sky, so I made sure to stop around the 1 4th mark on the page. And then I got the lighter blue color and started blending it upward to blend in with the darker blue. Because if I were to continue just bringing it down all the way onto the purple and pink, it'll just make my whole sky darker than what I want. And so, hence, anything that's like really dark and I don't want it to blend in with my lighter colors, I'll just start working upwards versus blending it downwards, if that makes sense. Once I'm satisfied with the gradient and how the colors have blended, I like to come in with a bit more thicker paint. Um, I make sure that my brush is on the drier side and that way when I add in a bit of paint on it, you get like this texture over your gradient and it kind of makes it look like there's some clouds in the background and it's not just like a super clean gradient. But yeah, the key here is to make sure that the paint underneath is mostly dry or else it'll just keep blending in together and you won't get like this textured look that I'm going for. Um, and just make sure that the paintbrush you're using isn't super wet either. Okay, so here's where I kind of messed up a little bit. I had grabbed this peachy color. I was trying to add it towards the bottom of the sky just to see if I could get it a little brighter but because my paintbrush wasn't super clean it had some blue in it um, it got 
mixed with the peach color and it made like this really dirty almost green color at the bottom and yeah i kind of messed up here this is why it's key to you know wash your brushes in between different colors um and so now i'm just waiting for it to dry so i can try to fix it really quick and add a bit of pink or purple over it if I don't wait for the paint to fully dry, then whatever I end up laying over it will just continue to blend together and it'll be just not what I'm going for. So if you end up messing up, you grab a color that you didn't want, just wait for it to dry completely. And then once it's dry, you can layer over it. It'll be an easy fix. Once the bottom part finally dried up, I added a bit more pink. I just wanted to try to cover up that ugly color that I mixed together. And now with my semi-dry brush, I just grab a bit of white paint and I just add it Kind of all over the place just to make it look like there's some clouds in the background but yeah so remember the key here if you're going for this look is just try to get thicker paint you don't want it too watery or else it'll just end up blending um, with everything up next is the mountains so for this painting we're just doing like a simple silhouette of some mountains um i didn't sketch it out or anything because i don't care if it's perfect or not but i just got a bit of black and i added a little white to it just to make it um not too dark the further away the mountains are it gets a little lighter um and i wanted the closer part the bottom of the page to be like black black so I just added a bit of white to lighten it up a little but yeah you can just draw random little hills in the back it doesn't need to be perfect Next, I took just the pure black color and I started adding it towards the bottom of the page. To try to make this look a bit more like mountains and not just super flat, I added in the black on the left side of the hills. That way it looks like the light source is coming from the right, hence it'll cast a shadow on the left side. And yeah, I wasn't like super perfect about this. I was really loose with my strokes and just blended it with the grayish color a bit. But yeah, like you don't have to be super perfect with this, um, especially if we're going for more of the loose look and more textured look in our painting. This is totally fine. So once we're done with the mountains, we gotta wait for it to dry before we can add in the little lights coming from the city. So we can just move on onto the moon. So we just grab a bit of white paint, make sure it's not too watery or runny um, because we don't want it to blend in or um, activate the paint underneath it. So just make sure it's on the thicker side and just 
add in a little moon. Now that the mountains have finally dried, we can add in our little lights from our city. So I just started off with some white and I grabbed a little round brush, the smallest brush I had, and I just start dabbing in little dots of white paint towards the back. And as I go further down the page, I start making the dots a little bit bigger, that way it looks like it's closer to us versus the tinier dots in the back. I'm not looking at a reference for this, so I'm kind of just winging it and just picturing what the lights look like at night with all the traffic. I live in Southern California, so there is always traffic here. So this is just based off my imagination, but yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect. You can pull up a reference if you need um, something to guide you, but as long as you Add little dots here and there and just make a couple of paths. It'll give that city light vibe that we're going for. While grabbing some of the orange paint with my paintbrush, I actually ended up dropping some water on the sky portion of the painting. And you'll see me trying to dry it up really quick with my rag, but it ended up just lifting the paint off. And so I was just trying to fix it really quick and hoping it just blends together, but because the paint was a bit lifted, you can kind of see the paper underneath and it looks a lot lighter than the rest of the sky. And so I pretty much just had to wait for it to dry until I could attempt to fix it again. So just another little detour of this painting, which was supposed to be really simple. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and you're just a little more careful than me when grabbing new paint and you're not splattering water all over your dried painting.
Once I finally fixed that little incident that happened, I could finally continue onto the city lights. So that yellow golden color that I grabbed, I'm just dabbing it in over the white dots that I had already laid on and just adding it to like the paths and making it look like, you know, it's like the traffic from the highways. And here you can add any color you like. I just chose like white and yellow since those are the ones that pop the most. Last minute, I decided to add in a bit of red, you know, for those traffic brake lights. And yeah, I just added them here and there. And yeah, for the most part, I like how this looks. It's giving me like LA primetime traffic vibes, you know. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Los Angeles or live in the area. Um, it's really bad especially during the week or on fridays um so this, this is giving me those vibes and i really like how it looks And of course my paintings aren't complete unless I add a bunch of stars all over the place. So here we're adding a couple stars to the sky, you know, just to spice it up a bit.
in order to fill the rest of the sky with a bunch of tiny little stars i pretty much just grab some white paint onto a small round paintbrush and i just tap it against another brush and it gives me a bunch of these little dots splattered all over the sky and it looks super cute you could do this as much or as little as you like uh personally i like a bunch of stars everywhere so i just go crazy until i'm satisfied Once we're done adding all the stars in, we're pretty much done and that is the complete painting. I hope you guys found this tutorial somewhat helpful. I try to do my best in explaining all my steps to the best of my ability. If you're new to gouache, hopefully this was an easy tutorial to follow. If you do end up recreating it, I would love to see it. Um, you can tag me on Instagram, here on YouTube. But yeah, I just want to say thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate you guys taking the time and watching my videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know what other types of videos you would like to see from me. I am always open to suggestions. But yeah, I hope you guys take care and I will see you guys soon. Bye!